Well, it's a bloody beauty out there today. It's a bloody beauty. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? I am feeling very, very charged with energy. Um, I want to take you through a morning routine which has changed my life. Um, I wake up, I walk downstairs in a pair of boxes, I walk out to this garden, I stand on this grass, I do about 10 minutes of grounding. If the sun's out like this, I'll stand here naked. Um, I will stand here naked and I will absorb all of the sun's goodness. And I genuinely feel that charge that it gives me in the morning and I'm, and I'm raring to go. Um, there's a lot of good research into grounding. Grounding is essentially discharging and absorbing electrons from the earth, from Mother Earth. Um, and actually it's been associated with lower levels of, of chronic inflammation, lower levels of disease and illness, and it's fucking crazy. I'm gonna put a few links to some studies in. Um, in fact, I'll pin them at the top of the comments just so you guys can see them. You can just click them easy so you don't need to go look for them because I know that you guys don't want to look for things. Um, just so you know, I'm not talking about hippie shit. Also, exposure to sunlight is incredible for circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm essentially just being our biological clock, um, our natural secretion of hormones. Um, for example, melatonin tends to secrete um, after sunset because the sun comes down, the blue light around tends to come down which then increases the secretion of melatonin which is essentially the hormone that helps us drift off to sleep um, which is why people will take melatonin when they when they travel because it kind of kickstarts that circadian rhythm um, which is why I say um, to a lot of my clients I've actually got a sheet um, like a full educational document on on blue light and things like that which is why when it gets to after um, sundown and then you're just still bombarded with blue light from TV from phones um, you inhibit that natural secretion of melatonin as part of that circadian rhythm um, and it's why I try and tone down what I do after the sun goes down it doesn't mean I don't I normally just stop about nine o'clock um, actually the sun goes down pretty late now so it's pretty nice um, but those are some free tips some free tips to feel good to feel energized and I promise you do it for like five days just do it for five days walk out don't have your phone on you don't have a watch on you just stand on the grass and sit there in the sun and listen to the noise listen to the wind listen to the birds and just stand there for five ten minutes and do that five times and then just tell me it doesn't work tell me you don't feel fucking great and energized um because you will hey ladies and gentlemen um i'm about to put on my hippie flops my uh vibrams these vibrams are really really cool they give you amazing proprioception um so like so your, your feet are supposed to be like this, right? But obviously we wear socks, we wear shoes, which cramp those together. So we're kind of used to walking like this. These kind of spread your toes a little bit. They just give you such proprioception on the floor. Such a crazy feeling. If you've got the spare cash and you're into this kind of stuff, like I'd get them, um, but they are expensive. I paid 70 quid for this. It's literally like a bit of rubber. Um, they're probably they're probably like a hundred pound full price. Um, I was at Body Power and I got the discount on them. So let me talk you through today anyway. We just had some changes from the boss man. Um, so we are now switching cardio to 40 minutes daily fasted, apart from days where I do pull and legs. Because those are big, metabolically demanding ex uh, like days, you know, legs like are hard and legs notoriously shrink on prep. I want to maximize my performance in those. So doing 40 minutes on a Stairmaster pre-legs is just gonna fuck me. <laughs> it has been fucking me. So we kind of had a little bit of communication about that, but that is now gonna be putting cardio to 20 minutes post of those workouts. So push, pu push, shoulders, arms, um, and a rest day. I run 40 minutes of cardio, fasted. I then do 20 minutes post-workout on leg day. But today is a leg day, so at my Yuhimbine, I had a little, a little coffee, a little coffee noffy, um, and I'm just going to go through steps. I've still got 12,000 steps to do a day. Um, I normally accumulate them through the day going to the gym, coming back from the gym, but I've got nothing to do in the morning, so I've got no cardio this morning. So I'm going to go out for a big, long walk in as much exposure to the sun as possible, vest and shorts, because it's a beautiful day. See you guys in a bit. My uh, Mikyoch. Tried to take away my fucking bagels. Callum, if you're watching this, no, I'm joking. <laughs> so he took my bagels out like two weeks ago and I've been using, uh, it's very handy, these are here. I've been using rice flakes uh, every now and again. However, I have 
found bagel thins, which are exact my macros. So, they're back. Incredible. Today, guys, we've got legs, which is gonna fucking kill me. Um, I've got Georgian filming me um, for a big, big leg session. It's gonna be a big one, I can't wait. Um, and then I've got cardio after, which is gonna be savage after a leg session, because we're going down to MJ's, which is like a old school gym. You guys have actually seen on here before, so. Look out for that. It's 10.30 right now. I'm going to see you at my next meal so I can show you my pre-workout meal. Um, and then we're going to... we're going to... we're going to hit this workout. Oh! Hello. What a coincidence. I was just making my intro workout. I'm here to tell you about my intro workout, which I tell you about all the time, but I know that there's new people here that want to hear about my intro workout. So... What is intro workout? Intro workout is... Um, a drink that you have intra workout so not in the beginning not at the end but in the middle of it during it um, there's some good research to note the combination of highly monosic addiction and essential amino acids being pretty good for recovery um, it's a really really easily assimilated and digested way to get nutrients in your body right so highly balanced degradation it's got a high molecular weight osmolarity so it transports it goes through your gastric lining very very quickly compared to say like a dextrose the same thing with the EAAs um, they're highly they're highly insulinogenic so you're not going to notice any bloat or anything when you train obviously if you stopped in the middle of training and had like a banana and like a whey shake you would feel that bloat but the way that you drink this um, is just so uh, easily assimilated that you just don't notice it and it can really really help with recovery you're giving on-demand nutrients on-demand essential amino acids on on-demand muscle pro muscle protein synthesis signals while you're going through muscle protein breakdown obviously building muscle is a, is, a, is a balance of muscle protein synthesis and muscle breakdown wanting to raise synthesis reduce breakdown while when you're training whether you like it or not your muscle breaking down and you want to be able to kind of um, fuel that anabolic part at the most catabolic, catabolic time of the day. So intra, I'm still at 40 grams of highly practiced ignition, 5 grams of creatine, um, some electrolytes, and that's it. Lemon, lemon. Roadside lemonade. We just oh, had a, as well? Yeah. Oh, we just had a scoop of this. Oh. We're going into MJ's. That fuck some shit up. I'm now gonna pass you over to the man George. Hope you guys enjoy this edit. This workout. Let's fucking go. So as with every single exercise that we do, we warm up through the motion. Uh, we're essentially just trying to, trying to ignite that neural connection to the muscle, to the tissue that we're trying to target. Um, today we are starting off with adductors. I always start off with adductors or adductors on the leg day. Just to get the blood moving, get things safe in the joints before we move into it. safer, having a lot more fluid into the joint, um, especially things like knees, um, you know, how many people have had knees like that? A lot. Doing something like this is going to get the, the, the joint fluid moving, it's going to get blood there. It's also going to make you a little bit more supplements and a little bit more cushion there, just from, from the pump. Um, so it's something that I've implemented into my workouts for years now, um, but I highly, highly recommend it. I would, I would do something that you're weak at, so I need a bigger posterior chain, so I start with my hamstrings. Yeah, 
Thank you. Set. Six to ten reps. All out failure. Just set yourself in stone, hips stay locked. No reaching forward, no moving, no coming up with the hip. Stay locked. Always. Come on, you are never one of the up. Come on. Come on, Josh. Come on. Two more nuts. Come on. Yeah. Drive. Ah! Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Good. One more. One more with me. Let's go. Let's go. Drive. Ah! Keep going. Keep going. Keep That's going. It. Come on. Come on. That's the fight. Ah. Nice. That's it. Come on. Come on. Get down. Get down. Pull you. Pull you. Oh! Come on. Let's do one more. Two more. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Do all the work. Do all the work. Do all the work. Yeah, we've got nice stuff. Nice stuff. Three, two, one, fucking oh. everything, let's go. Huh? Come on. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go on. <clears throat> right, don't let me do it, don't let me do it. <sighs> That's it. Good set. See how one feels. Yeah, it's a war. Fucking dick! Come on! We have, we've got our isolation in. Now we mechanically load. And this is this is the fucking bread and butter right now. We are loading the posterior chain as much as possible through this movement. This is like a Dorian deadlift RDL type thing. Hinging at the knee, so you'll see me kind of flip a little bit. That's a hinge at the knee, bringing in the glute, bringing in the top of the hamstring. Um, we load our posterior, and we're gonna head over, we're gonna load our anterior. <laughs> Let's go. Josh. You need to stay tight. Yeah. Ooh, no. Oh. It's fucking there. Here it's there. Nice. Come on. Come on. Stay tight, boy. Yes. Come on, Josh. Come on. It's there if you want it. Yeah, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, go one more, let's go. Let's go, Josh, come on. Stay tight. Yeah. Come on, one more, let's go. Fucking go. Come on. Fucking come on. Come on. Come on, up, 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 yeah. up, 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 Ah! 
Loading set on the quads. Pendulum. I'm not even sure what the name of this pendulum is, but the, uh, the mechanism of the arc is really, really nice. You load your quads where the quads come in, you know, versus like being loaded in a fully stretched position. You can actually get out of it and load quite nicely. So. What about 10, 10 kilos lighter since I did this, so let's fucking do it. Come on, Angel, come on. Let's sit, let's go. <coughs> Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck myself. Right, let's go. That's it, here we go. Come on. Come on, Jake. Okay. Now, now we work. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, let's try. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Jake. Come on. That's it, focus. Let's go. Yes! Every more, Jake. Come on. Last big compound. Let's fucking go. Come on. Lay it out. Ah! Good. One more. One more. Keep moving. Still moving smooth. It's not. We're still here. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah. That's it. Come on. Brilliant. So now, after I've done my set, he's coming. Yes. Nice. Again then, let's take it. Come on. Yes. 
fucking get it. Sir! That's all you, that's all you. Oh. Come on, here Come we go. On. Come on. It's a light touch, it's a light touch. Come on. Oh. Right, that's you. Come on. Oh. Again. Oh. Here we go. Good. Come Control on, it down, don't drop These it. These are the ones that work. Come on, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. You know there's another oh. one. Let's go. Two more now. Two more. Take yours up. Don't drop it. Oh. Come on. Oh. Push. Push. Come on. Come oh. on. Oh. What? Finish it. Finish it. Don't go down. Finish oh. it. Finish it. That's the intensity. Come on, brother. Yes, right. Come on, let's go. Uh, let's finish on, how dress. we started. Come on. Work. Let's work. Finish let's how we started on the high. Uh, Again. Two more. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Here, Here we go. Here this we is the last one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Finish it, brother. Yeah. Uh, yes. Fucking finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Come on. Hold it at the top. Three seconds. One, two, three. Nice. So we finished up there, gun shot to the head, exertion headache, and then that's not my session unfortunately. Uh, we literally have uh, reverse type left, three sets, so that's pretty much the session done. Um, I just thought I'd explain the abrupt stop. Uh, my head is fucking splitting, just straight through here. That's what happens when you push to the ring guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Post workout meal. Coco Pops, way, same old chi, different day, fuck me, fuck me, I am absolutely battered. What it, I don't know what it was, but on that final set I like, was screaming and then I just felt like a gunshot in my head and just went boom and I just got the worst like honestly I was like fuck I've just like popped a blood vessel I've fucking done something bad um, and, I, and I, knew, I know about exertion headaches so I was like okay you no know, rationalize it it's not a fucking blood vessel it's an exertion headache but the pain was just so much across the whole of my head it was like just splitting it eased off and thankfully it's eased off so I missed out the reverse hyperextensions, but you know, when you've done a session like that, it's not, it's not, not too worried. Guys, investing in yourself, investing in this videographer, investing in seminars, investing in, in things that I've been doing over the last few months, as you might have seen, you know, things are improving, um, everything is going up, and it's because I've been investing in myself. Don't ever underestimate the power of investing in yourself and giving yourself more opportunity to, to grow as a person, to grow as a business, grow as a business and growing everything. I think that's one big tip that I wanna leave you with today. I'm gonna to give you a physique update. This is me um, this morning. This is nine weeks out, guys. So we were nine weeks out officially. Um, this is flat. Um, I'm feeling pretty flat today. Um, I had a check-in with the coach. We've made some changes. So I am now eating 2,600 calories on training days. It's about 325 carb, the rest fat and protein. Um, I'm then eating 1,800 calories on non-training days. Um, just to allow myself more food on those training days for recovery and performance. Um, obviously performance being the main driving force. Like I'm not losing muscle, I'm on, I'm on gear, so I'm not, I don't need to worry about pulling calories really, really hard because I'm just not gonna lose the muscle, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm doing 40 minutes of cardio daily, except for leg days and pull days where I'll be doing 20 minutes post-workout. Um, this has changed because I just noticed my leg performance dip on those days where I'm doing 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. It was really, really hurt. And I think this is a testament to the micro changes that a coach can bring in. Um, and it's something that I would be thinking about for my clients as well is how is your leg performance? We, we're not only going to think about leg size um, and, and, and that kind of diminishing when you're taking away from performance. Um, but also the, the, the intensity to bring in a leg day is so many calories burned, so many more calories burned 
than like a shoulders and arms day, you know. Um, so to be able to maintain that performance in a calorie deficit, in a leg day specifically, and a big pull day specifically because of the caloric demand is key, you know, because it's a big driver to push you into that. Like I'm confident I'm going to be a new low in tomorrow um, because of the session today. So that's what I want to leave you with, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. We are nine weeks out from the first qualifier of the year. Um, I'm wrecked. I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to eat and we're going to chill out. Still got a thousand steps to do, so I'll go ahead and do those in a little bit. Um, but I'll see you guys soon. Peace and love.